Hey guys, Jordy here for CineCam.net and welcome back to Copycat Friday. If you haven't seen the film Cruella yet on Disney+, Plus, definitely do, it's a pretty good film. And in that film, we can sometimes see these articles that fly into the shot around Cruella de Vil and that is exactly what we are going to recreate today and show you guys how it's done. So let's get started. <laughs> And guess what? I'm back from my vacation and ready to start making awesome tutorials together with the whole team. Okay, I guess Timo and Jenica are on vacation, so I have to do it with Jordi. But let's not waste any more time and start recreating the fly-in text effect. The first thing we'll need is of course a set, so let's create that. It's <laughs> not that is off. Hey guys, everyone is away. Like, Jenik is gone, Timo is gone, so we're gonna have to do it everything ourselves. I have to film right now. I'm not in focus, absolutely not. Anyways, we have to film the BTS ourselves. No, no, Timo. Oh man, this is a disaster. How was your vacation? It was really good. I did like scuba diving, skydiving, I went to uh, Hunt some treasure from old pirates. I went on a spacewalk. Pretty interesting, normal stuff. Papa, papa, paparazzi. So, the Okay, so the idea today is to create this fashion scene as you can see behind me because I'm going to play Cruella de Vil. We actually have an outfit of her and I'm going to show off my beautiful outfit. Well, we've got paparazzi everywhere. Is it paparazzi? Yes. Papar pa paparazzi. paparazzi. <laughs> and uh, you know, that's basically it. That's why we're doing this. Lorenzo, isn't it unfortunate that Timo isn't here to film today? It's really unfortunate. Wait, who's filming right now? Oh, it's Timo. Oh. <laughs> Timo's back. <laughs> I'm back, baby! <laughs> I also got my hair, by the way. <laughs> so, so if you see a difference with other shots, that's why. It's fashion week this week. This feels so wrong. <laughs> I thought I'd buy a Cruella outfit. This is what I got. Game fast. <laughs> With this set done, it's finally time to collect all the assets you'll need for this effect. The first one is of course to record your shot where you'll be working on. Basically, you can do whatever you want. Just make sure your anchor is always in your shot, that you shoot wide enough to have as much as possible detail in the shot for the 3D tracking and of course don't have too harsh movements. And this is because of two reasons. The first one is that you need to rotoscope your talent out later in post-production and too much motion blur means a lot of trouble. And the second reason is that you don't want to have too much motion blur on the details in your scene because if you don't have those your 3D tracking will fail which will result in a bad effect. Next to this shot, the other assets you'll need are these paper grungy type overlays for your text. And these I got from Storyblocks, our sponsor for today's video. And next to these overlays, they also have a huge stock library with HD and 4K footage of animals, cities, landscapes, basically whatever you want. 
They also have logo animations, lower third, transitions, backgrounds and so much more. And like believe it or not, but the shots from my vacation from earlier weren't real. Shocking right? Well, I downloaded them from Storyblocks. And since you only pay a single price per year, I was able to download as much as fake vacation footage as I wanted. So don't wait any longer and click on the first link in the description down below for more info. Now there is a different way to gather these textures and that is by creating them yourself, which you can easily do by just taking a photo of an interesting texture. You can also just use your phone. Things like cardboard works really well, so you can just grab a picture of that. But also things like this wood right here. I think it looks really interesting. So we can also just take a picture off from that. It's that simple. Once we have all our assets, it's time to start with the effect. So first of all, drag your clip into your sequence. With your clip selected, go to the tracker and choose track camera. And now we wait. Okay, there we go. Once the 3D camera tracking is done, make sure the 3D camera tracker effect is selected. And you should see little trackers all around your scene, which means you got a successful tracking. Congratulations. <coughs> In the original effect, you can see different articles floating around. To do this, we first need to determine the position. So hover over your scene until you find a spot where you want to place your text. Right click here and choose create null and camera. The null we just created will be used to position our text. So let's make some since we don't have one yet. Right click in your sequence and go to new and choose text. Write the headline, create a new text layer and write the article you want to go with it. And of course, position it however you want. Once that is done, pre-compose these text layers and enable the 3D layer for this pre-comp. And now it's time to use our null object we made earlier. Open up the properties and copy the transform with Ctrl C. Select your text pre-comp and paste those transform properties with Ctrl V. With this layer selected, press T and set your opacity back to 100%, which will reveal your text again. You can increase the size of the text by scaling the layer up and fine tune the position using the anchor point. Oh yeah, keep in mind, try to avoid using the Z axis since this will mess up the parallax effect. Also, don't make your text too big since you'll be cropping back in into your footage when everything is finished. Do the exact same process for all the other articles and fill out your whole scene with different news articles. Do make sure for each new article you create a new null and play around with the look if you want. If everything went well, you should get something like this. With this done, it's time to change the look of our text. So head into the pre-comp of a text layer. Here is where we'll be using the textures we got earlier from Storyblocks or the ones you made yourself. Drag this into your sequence and place it under your text layer. If it's a video, don't forget to right click, go to time and choose freeze frame. Head over to track matte and choose luma matte. And there we go, our white text is already looking way better. Of course, don't forget to do this for all the other texts. Then head over to your main comp and let's blend the text in with the background. And this you can easily do by going over the blending mode and setting it to something like hard light. Depending on your scene, other blending modes will look better, so play around with that. And you can also play around with the opacity to fine tune it a little bit more. In the original effect, you can see the articles fade away, which is something extremely easy to do. Head into your pre-comp of your article, select the article text and draw a rough mask around the part that needs to be gone. Open up the properties of your mask with pressing M and set it to subtract. Then press F on your keyboard and feather it a bunch. Play around with the path of the mask and feather until it looks good. And that's basically it. Of course, I can talk hours about how to fine tune this, but that would be boring. So I'll quickly go over what I did. I added some blur to the text to make them less sharp and enabled the motion blur. At the end of my clip, I also added this little animation of text flying in. These elements are placed in the scene the exact same way you can do with the text. And I animated the anchor points to those shapes to move them into frame. You can also see that my box goes behind Jordi. To do this, make a duplicate of your talent and place it on top. And now you can simply rotoscope your talent out. If you still remember from in the beginning, we still need to crop our entire clip. So pre-comp everything. Once everything is pre-comped, you can simply increase the scale and that's it. And when you did all of those different steps, you should get something like this. Only thing left to do now is clean up the studio. Big thanks for watching, guys. Now go watch Cruella on Disney Plus. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. Definitely make sure to check out their library. First link in the description down below. And as always, stay creative. And now I have to clean up the studio all by myself. By the way, guys, this is real dimension. What do you think?
I uh, slaughtered 101 dogs for this. These are 100, this one. Cruella, Cruella, Cruella de Vil. No yielding.